What's going on YouTube? Today, as you can see, my client's got two noticeable cowlicks, one in the front and one in the back. Whenever you're working with medium length hair or longer, especially with cowlicks, it's a good idea to wet the hair and section it off before doing any cutting. Just to be safe, I'm removing bulk using my foreguard open, being sure not to cut the bridge or the lower half of this cowlick too short. Using my three and a half, I'm cutting his hair in a contour shape, bringing my blade just below the bridge, straight off the side of his head. On the back side of his head, I'm cutting the section right above the occipital line and bringing my blade straight off the head, just before reaching the bottom half of his colic. On the non-parted side, you can bring the three and a half right up to the ridge line and straight off the side of the head. Working my way down, I now have my two guard closed and I'm working below the occipital line and around the ear, making sure I'm still working in a contoured shape. I'm bringing my tooth straight off the head using a scooping motion, being careful not to cut too high into the three. If you accidentally create any transition lines, just open your lever and blend the lines out. Here I'm clearing some bulk using my one guard open and I'm just bringing it up about an inch and a half. Working my way down, I'll go to my zero guard halfway using a scooping motion to blend my zero into my one. If you create any lines here, just open the lever and blend them out. For the bottom of the taper, I'm using my master's open, here holding my blade at an angle, using a scooping motion, bringing the blade up about a half inch. This will give this haircut a nice natural finish at the bottom. my clipper work, I like to bring my one guard around the ears and the edges. This gives the haircut a nice tapering effect and helps improve the shape of the haircut. everything is even and natural. I'm not cutting into his hairline to change the look, but a clean lineup will still help the haircut stand out. Notice when I'm working around a customer's ear that I'm making sure the ear is not getting in the way. 
I'll do this by lightly moving it to the opposite side I'm working on. If an ear is stiff and it doesn't fold easily, use your finger to cup the top of the ear. This just protects your customer. Sometimes barbers can get careless, I've seen it before, but cutting someone's ear is a good way to lose business. Starting out on top, I'm removing about an inch to an inch and a half. For this style of haircut, you want to make sure the top on the parted side reaches at least the middle of the crown. It will get shorter as we move to the non-parted side. This is just to make sure that the hair on that non-parted side doesn't hang over once the haircut is finished. check the sections to make sure they're even. This is a great way to add texture to the hair as well and it also helps remove any imperfections in the hairstyle. of the hair you want to make sure it blends into the fade but that you're not cutting it too short where it will stick out for this section i use a similar approach to trimming the top i'll even the hair and then cross check the length by cutting diagonally on this haircut, I'll trim the bottom half of the swirl to a similar length that I cut the bridge on the parted side, and the top half of the colic will be left longer and used as part of the comb over. step in the hair cutting process is to make sure the bangs are even. For really colicky and thick hair I will use my texturizing shears. This will just add another element and help the hair lay down better. these come standard with the purchase of every haircut. It's a good business practice and an easy way to advertise yourself. However, you do want to always ask the customer beforehand, especially if they are a new customer. Just in case they have sensitive skin, you don't want to finish a great haircut by irritating someone's skin and risk losing a customer. Throwing some pomade in the hair just to give a little style to it. I use Master Crew Comb Medium Hold Natural Finish. 
They've been around since like the 1930s and I absolutely love their products. They, they knew what they were doing when they made this product. You should definitely give it a try. After we're done with that, we'll style it up and you're good to go. That's it for me, YouTube. This is the transformation from colic to classic. One of my favorite hairstyles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got a lot more coming in the future. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one.